Hello, my name is Alex, and today I will be showing you how to connect a Fitbit to an iOS device such as an iPhone or iPad. I encourage you to pause and or rewind this video at any time if I am moving too fast. The first thing you're going to want to do when you receive your new Fitbit is to use the charging cable and plug it in the back, and then plug it into any USB port such as a computer or wall outlet. After you plug it in, you'll see an animation on the Fitbit telling you how charged it is. This one is almost fully charged, but even if the battery is low or dead, it should only take about up to 20 minutes to fully charge. By pushing on the side button of the Fitbit and seeing this image of a still battery, you'll know that your Fitbit is fully charged. Once it's fully charged, you can unplug it and set it off to the side for now. Most of the remaining steps will involve your iPhone. The first thing you want to do involving your phone is opening the Apple App Store. Click the search button in the bottom of the screen and search Fitbit to find the app. The app itself is called Fitbit and it should be the one on the top of the list. Download that app. While the Fitbit app is downloading and installing, use this time to make sure your Bluetooth is turned on by going into Settings, Bluetooth, and turning it on if it is not already on. The Fitbit is a Bluetooth device and it will not pair with your phone if Bluetooth is not turned on. Now that the Fitbit app is done installing, we're going to go ahead and open it. First thing you're going to want to do is click Join Fitbit. On the next page, you'll see a full list of different Fitbit devices. At Williamsville, we use the Charge HR, so select that one. On this page, click Set up your Fitbit Charge HR on the bottom of the screen. The next couple pages will ask you some information about yourself, such as your height, your gender, your weight, and finally, your birthday. On this page, you will be prompted to create a Fitbit account by entering in your name, email address, and creating a password. Once you're done entering in your information, click I agree to their terms of service. If you don't want to receive promotional and informational emails from Fitbit, you can uncheck the box at the bottom. And on the screen, you can just go ahead and hit next, and then hit next again. Now the Fitbit app will attempt to connect to your Fitbit. Make sure your Fitbit is turned on by holding the button for three seconds. If your Fitbit is powered on, this connection process should only take a few seconds. Now that the app has successfully found your Fitbit, it will prompt you to enter in a four-digit code. You will find this code being displayed on your Fitbit. In my case, the number was 0150. Once you enter the four-digit code into your Fitbit app, it will begin the final pairing processes. Make sure your Fitbit is nearby your phone during this process. It can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to connect. Just give it time. And success! That took about one minute for me. Now you can go ahead and put the Fitbit on your wrist. When putting it on, you don't want it to be too tight or too loose. The band should be worn loosely enough that it can move back and forth on your wrist. For this video, I'll be skipping through the next couple of pages, but I suggest reading them to learn more about your Fitbit. And congratulations, you are all set. Click Done, and you'll log in. When you log in, a window will appear asking you if you would like Fitbit to send you notifications. Click OK. These notifications are quite useful. What you are seeing now is your Fitbit dashboard. The dashboard is the home page of your Fitbit app. Here is where you can view all of your information that the Fitbit has collected. While running the Fitbit app for the first time, you may get a pop-up window requesting Bluetooth pairing. 
go ahead and click Pair. You may also be prompted by another pop-up window asking you to update the Fitbit firmware. If this happens, click Yes. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to confirm our account with Fitbit. You should have received an email by now with the subject as Finish Setting Up Your Fitbit Account. Open that email and click Verify your email. And now you are all set up. Your Fitbit lasts up to five days before it needs a recharge. Just keep wearing it and check the app frequently so it can help aid you in your efforts towards a healthier life. Thanks for watching and enjoy your new Fitbit.